What's up everyone and welcome to the club. I want to thank you for joining me today because in this video we're drawing Boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. Let's begin this lesson in the center of our page with the eyebrows. We're going to start right in the middle. Let's start with a point. And we're going to work our way up towards the left. Just going to curve this out and then bend that up towards the top. Let's go back to the middle. We're just going to bend this up and then out towards the right. And then we'll add some thickness to the eyebrow. Starting from the top, I'm just going to taper this so it gets a little bit wider as we come in towards the middle. Taper that up and out. And we'll fill the eyebrows in black. And now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyebrow. Starting over on the left, let's draw a half oval. I'm going to come down and pull that back up. Let's go over towards the right side. Come down towards the same height. And then all the way back up towards the top. Now let's fill the eyes in black. Now we're going to shift the mouth over towards the right side. Line up with the inside edge of the left eye. We're going to step down. It's going to curve the mouth going out and then up. Let's add a fold. Stepping in, curve up, and then out. From the outside corner of the mouth, draw a short angle line coming down and in. And then we'll pull that straight in towards the mouth. Now let's draw on the inside edge of the head. Lining up with the inside edge of the right eye, we're going to step up above the brow, curve out, and then up. We're going to bend this out, and then down towards the side. And then from here, draw a short angle line coming down and in towards the cheek. Then we'll go back to the right side of the eye, curve out, and then down towards the mouth. Taper that back up, and curve this out, and then down. Now we're gonna go back to the left side and round out the cheek. Starting up here, I'm gonna curve this out and then bend that in. It's gonna round out the chin. Now it's gonna pull that back up towards the right side. Going out and then bending that up. Let's go to the top of the brow. We're gonna curve the hair going out and then up. Let's taper that out and then down. Now we're gonna bend the hair going up and out. Curve this out and then back down. Let's add a couple points on the left side. Starting here, just gonna taper this back in, go out and then down. Now we'll pull this in toward the side of the head. And go back to the right side and draw the edge of the hat. Just draw a straight angle line coming down and out and curve down towards the bottom. And now we're gonna draw on the ear. Starting from that top corner, curve the ear going up and out. Come down along the side, bend that in. Curve this in and up in behind the head. And then we'll add that fold inside the ear. Starting on the side, curve up and out. Come down along the side. I'm just gonna tuck this up underneath. And now we're going to place the hat on top of the head. Let's we'll start from this point. We're going to step out, curve the hat going out, and then up towards the top. And then we'll round out the top of the hat. Going up, and then down on the right. Let's curve the hat coming down along the side, going out, and then down. And then with a straight angle line coming down and in on top of the ear. Let's draw the front edge of the hat. Starting from this point, curve in, then bend that all the way down towards the bottom. Now the hat brim is going to come out from the side of the ear. Let's start out here, curve up, and then bend that down. Flatten off the end with a short angle line. And then curve this back in, and then up. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the body. We're going to start with the right side. Let's start from the side of the head. Start with the shoulder, coming out and then in. Bend the sleeve, coming down and then out. I'm going to pull the sleeve coming in and then back up, just underneath the head. 
From the inside of the sleeve, we'll step out, curve the arm coming down, and we'll bend that out. From the outside of the sleeve, we'll step in, curve down, and out towards the same height. And then we'll draw the edge of the pocket on top of the arm. Stepping down, angle up, and down and out. Just extend this out past the side of the arm. And then move over and draw the left side of the body. Starting underneath the head, right in the middle, curve the body going out and then down. And we'll curve the body going down and across in behind the arm. Let's continue working down the right side of the body towards the bottom of the shoe. Starting from the outside of the pocket, draw a straight angle line coming down, curve down and in, curve in and then up. And then from the inside of the pocket, we'll step down, go straight across, curve this down and then out. Now the top of the shoe is going to curve out towards the side. So on the left, we're going to step down, curve this up and out. Go to the pocket on the right side, curve up and out. Let's flatten off the ends with a short angle line. Then we'll curve that back in and then down toward the side of the shoe. Let's go back to the inside, step up, curve the shoe coming in and then down. Go to the right, step in, do the same thing. Let's flatten off the side with a short line. And then we'll connect the bottom with a curve, coming down toward the front of the shoe, and then back up on the right. Let's add a thick sole along the front, starting from the left side. It's going to follow that same curve, coming down the middle, and then back up. Let's go to the inside and draw three laces. We're going to start on the left, start with a curve going up, and then down. Round up the ends, just pulling them back in. Connect the top of that same curve, going up and then down. Now you want to do that two more times, starting back on left, bend this around, connect the top, and we'll do that one more time. Let's go to the inside of the shoe, draw a curve going up and then across. Go back to the inside, curve the shoe coming down, and then out. Let's add in the shoe tongue. Starting down here, curve this in, and go across the top, going up, and then down on the outside. Pull that back down and in. Let's connect the inside with the curve, going up and then down. Now from the bottom corner of the shirt, we're going to step in, draw a short angle line coming down and out. Curve this up and out, and come down and then in. And now we're going to add three laces. Starting from the outside, just going to bend this around. And the inside will do the same thing. Connect the ends with a curve. And then we'll add two more laces just down below. Round up the ends, connect the bottom with a curve. And then we'll do that one more time. Let's go to the outside, curve the foot going out and then down. Come down with a straight line. Now let's draw on the bottom of the shoe. Starting up here, curve down. Just gonna pull this up towards the heel. Curve this in and then up. And then we'll trace the top edge of the sole. Starting from this point, we're just going to follow that curve. Come down, and then up, come in, and then up. And now we're going to move over and draw the hand holding the mic on the left side. Let's start with the top edge of the hand. So around here, we're just going to draw a curve. Going up, and then bending that in. Round up the knuckle, and then go back out. Let's add in two more fingers. Going up, and then back out. I just want to tuck the third finger in behind the leg. Let's go to the outside, curve out and then down, come down and in, round up the second knuckle, and then we'll round out the third knuckle. 
Now I'm going to pull the hand back in underneath the pant. Coming across and then up. Let's separate the fingers. From these two points, curve across and then down. Let's go up to the top and layer the mic in behind the hand. From the outside, draw two short angle lines going up. Connect the top with that same curve of the hand going up and then down. And we'll connect the top two corners with a circle, starting on the left, go all the way around, in, and then down. Now let's add those lines inside the mic. Starting from the top, draw a straight angle line, coming all the way down, go back up, step out toward the left, I'm just gonna bend this out, and then in, step out, and draw that again. Now do the same thing on the inside, stepping in, step out and do that one more time. Now I'm going to add three curves going in the opposite direction. Let's start with the center curve, going up and then in, split the top in half and the bottom. Now we're going to add the thumb on the inside, starting up here, curve up and in, come down and then bend that in towards the fingers and go down and into the straight line. So we curl the thumb, coming down and in behind the hand. Let's go to the inside of the thumb, curl the arm coming up and then in. Now I'm going to step out, draw a short angle line going up, angle up and in behind the body. Let's add that logo in the center of the body. We start at the very top and we draw an oval, coming out at an angle and back up or the top, and then from the top, draw a straight angle line coming down. And that's pretty much it, this boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.